Players dream of being on the front page of the sports section. Dunmore's Mike Perry, smile for the camera. An overtime game-winning touchdown. The Bucks beat West Scranton 19-14. I'm Colin Rickabon. That's a wrap. More Monday memories next week.
Are Dunmore fans cheering for Monday memories or because seven years of misery are over? Ryan Enoch, like a thief in the night, the swipe, forces a fumble that J.J. Dempsey recovers for the Bucks during their win over Lakeland.
Moving to double-A action, a rematch. Riverside ran all over Dunmore their first meeting, 34-20. What can the Bucks do to stop the Vikings Express? First, we really had to slow down Joey Claybon because we all, he's, an all, he's an unreal uh, running back and then stop some of their passing and get some pressure on the quarterback. More double-A.
number three, Sean Gilroy. Number four, Chris Schultz. Great job, Chris. Number five, David Olivetti. Number six. Dunmore has confidence in their field general, Miller Holmes. He always seems to make the right decision, either through the air or on the ground. The Bucks got the revenge over Riverside, now looking to keep their season going a few more weeks. Loyal Sox. You needed a hot coffee or hot chocolate to brave the icy wind blowing through Memorial Stadium. Tell me what you're drinking. Um, hot chocolate. You need it tonight? Yeah, it's freezing. Too early to be freezing cold, hey, right? It's cold out here. Uh, me and three of my buddies, you know, gotta stay warm out here. It's, it's cold. You think you got the shakes? Yeah, a little bit with the gloves on, double layers, everything. And it's still not helping, huh? No, not at all. You dress in layers tonight? Yeah. Yeah. And you're drinking uh, what there? Coffee. Most told us if you weren't dressed in a bundle of layers, you might as well have gone home. Sweatshirt, jacket, scarf, you know, whole thing. I'm trying to keep warm. Don't forget about that hood. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Two of them. Two hoods. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Watching the Bucks do business with Lansdale Catholic from the very top of the bleachers. Certainly the coldest place in the house. Just wear a couple layers of clothes, you know. I brought, I got some gloves on. I'm just worried. Yeah, a lot of people are body heat. That's all. How many layers you got on there? I got three layers on, but I feel good because I'm pumped. Joe Holden, WBRE News. It's the playoffs. Every cheer counts. Either win or the season is over. And nobody gave Dunmore's defense much of a chance against Lansdale Catholic. They respond by only allowing 14 points. J.J. Dempsey may be the biggest pick in program history. Bucks back in the AA Eastern Final. That's a wrap. More Monday memories next week.
Three local teams still playing high school football. Eastern Championship weekend with the goal to get the Hershey to play for a state title next week. In Class A, Bloomsburg and Steel High. In Double A, Loyal Sock and Dunmore. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Phil Shannon with WBRE Sports Saturday. Tonight in Shemokin, Colin Rickabon will join us from the studio with the Bloomsburg highlights coming up. Here, it was the Dunmore defense against the Loyal Sox high-powered offense. It was Dunmore's offense striking first 10 play 61 yard drive. Miller Holmes to Mark Flortez, 24 yard touchdown pass, 7 0 Bucks, 405 to play first quarter. Loyal Sock would bounce right back. The Lancers, Austin Nottington breaking through the line of scrimmage and going 55 yards all the way down to the Dunmore three yard line. Then a fourth and three for Loyal Sock. Why not give it back to Nottington? Watch him take the football around the end and get hit, and he's in the end zone. Game tied at 7 all, 10 14 to play second quarter. It didn't take Dunmore long to get back on the board. Miller Holmes throws it up. Brian Copeland, what a great one-handed catch for the touchdown. Nine play, 65-yard drive, 14-7 Dunmore, 6-13 to go second quarter. After the Bucks D held Loyal Sock on a fourth and one from the 50-yard line, Mike Perry. Well, he wouldn't go down. Breaking tackles, a tough 33-yard run to the Lancers' nine-yard line. A few plays later, Miller Holmes, one-yard quarterback sneak for the touchdown, 21-7 Dunmore with the lead at the half. Loyal Sock looking to get right back in the game. Fourth and goal in Dunmore's Mike McHale comes up with the interception in the end zone. Next play, Dunmore ready for lights out. Mike Perry goes 79 yards down the sidelines, almost gets in, gets down to the Lancer one-yard line. The Bucks punch it in from one yard out. Pat Hart over the top for the touchdown, and Dunmore punches their ticket to Hershey and the double A state final. Final score, Dunmore 28, Loyal Sox 7. Now, talk about the big second half effort by the defense. Mike McHale stepped up in the second half. I think he had every single tackle for us. And then that big interception, that was big. We had uh, that fourth down stop. The defense came out to play, and the offense put up points. Well, the interception goal line, uh, I, there was no backs coming out of the backfield. So, I mean, I just was in the right place at the right time to make a big play for our team. That's all we talked about in the locker room. I and mean, we talked about our defense. Uh, they didn't have to step up and play big in the second half. I mean, they did their job. That's how we did it. You knew the defense, if you give them a lead, would, would put the lights out. And they certainly did that there in the second half. I mean, our, it was up front. The offensive line, that's all it was. Uh, we wore them down, wore them down. And Michael broke that one. And it was the offensive line. You got to give them all the credit. You know, things just didn't go our way. And, you know, what are you going to say? I mean, uh, you know, it wasn't from lack of effort. I think we just got beat by a better football team. Well, it's, it's a great experience for our kids. You know, that, that, they deserve all the credit. I'm just so thrilled for them. And, and uh, hopefully we'll just got to heal up a little bit this week and get ready for the game on Saturday. The Dunmore Bucks find themselves back in the state title for the first time since 1989, making their second trip to the state championship game next Saturday at 1 o'clock. That's the story from Shemokin. and Phil Shaner, WBRE Sports, back to the studio, and Colin Rickabon. Colin, take it away. Make some noise, it's a playoff edition of Monday Memories. The award for weekend's best catch goes to Dunmore wide receiver Brian Copeland somehow taps the ball from one hand to the other and cradles ridiculous grab for the score. The Bucks defense continues to shine this postseason. Mike McHale, look at those hands, an interception that seals the program's first East championship since 1989. Let's wrap up by congratulating Jack Henses and Dunmore football. One win away from the school's second ever state championship. More Monday memories from Hershey next week. Cheering, dancing, singing, and all out craziness for the Dunmore Bucks. I mean, we talk about state championship at the beginning of the year, but you know, for everything to just come true, it's unbelievable. No matter what happens Saturday, the ride to state championships has been surreal. It's, it's nuts this week. Uh, it's one of the, the greatest weeks I've ever experienced. I mean, just the greatest week of your life? I think so, yeah. yeah. I mean, just every day of school, like I wake up in the morning and, you know, I'm actually happy to go to school. That's, that's a first, I think. It's loud in here. Some tonight call this crowd a 10. Saturday's game is going to be a 12 on the scale of craziness. The team is pumped, ready to do business with the Jeanette Jayhawks. Uh, once we get down to Hershey, we got to focus on uh, what we have to do. They'll face a team with a quarterback some say has superpowers. Our father at Mass uh, said they have supermans. 
Anthony, so if they if they have the Superman, then you guys would have like the Kryptonite. Yeah, that's exa we got Pat Hart, we got Tony Trotted, just like I said, Jim Savior, Mike McHale. Nobody could stop those guys. And apparently nothing, not even a half a foot of snow, can deter the spirit. Okay, now what do you think about this crowd out here? I mean, you know, good showing, right, on a snowy night? Yeah, it's flat, yeah. I mean, school was closed today, right? I know, it was awesome. It's fun to, like, not have school and come to this. But this uh, community support's been outstanding, you know. We, they've just been with us all year. Coach Hensis says his boys are confident thanks to the community's backing. For Pennsylvania Morning, I'm Joe Holden. Hundreds of students and some neighbors lined up in front of Dunmore High School to give the football team a big send-off to the championship game in Hershey. And cheers filled the air as the buses pulled away. Of course, the excitement isn't limited to the high school. In fact, downtown, the Christmas decorations are sharing space with all the signs for the Bucks. And there are plenty of signs to see. Business places throughout the borough are showing their support with banners made up of the school colors and with words of encouragement. Marty Kaur runs Two Brothers Restaurant. He played on the team back in 1966 and says the current run is big for Dunmore. It means a lot. These, these people in this town are really psyched up over it. It's a football tradition town. It's Joe Trotta agrees he was one of the guys who started midget football in the community. He says the team's success puts this town in a good light. It shows what Dunmore is made out of. We take our lumps and we give our lumps. And Joe Toluto loves to see Dunmore look good. He's on borough council and a member of the football booster club. Oh, this is great for the town. This is the greatest little town in the country. I mean, the football pride in this town, I can't explain it. Of course, some things don't need explaining. Suffice it to say, behind every sign in town, there's a very big cheering section. We have wonderful football players, and we have the best, con the best coach in the country. It, go Bucks, it, go! It, <laughs> go Bucks, go! We're voting for you, Bucks! In Dunmore, David DeCosmo, WYOU News. Dunmore with their eye on a prize, a state football championship. One team from the area still playing championship weekend in Hershey. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Phil Shader with Sports and Chocolate Town for the AA state championship. Dunmore and Jeanette. We talked all week about the Jayhawks' offensive power. It truly was a two-man show. It didn't take Jeanette long to get on the board. Their first play from scrimmage. Junior running back Jordan Hall goes 58 yards for the Jayhawk touchdown. Just the start of a very big day for Jeanette, who led early 7-0. Dunmore answered with a 10-play, 61-yard drive, most of the yards coming from sophomore running back Mike Perry. He ended up with 133 yards on 26 carries and a touchdown, but it was Miller Holmes putting the Bucks on the board for the first time with his four-yard touchdown run, tying the game at 7-all. After that, Jeanette scored five unanswered touchdowns, rolling up 506 total yards of offense. Jeanette's Terrell Pryor and Jordan Hall did a little bit of everything. Pryor ran for 209 yards and three touchdowns, passed for 83 yards and another score. He also caught a 28-yard touchdown from Jordan Hall. Hall scored four touchdowns four different ways. Ran for one, caught one, threw one, and take a look here, taking the punt 65 yards for the touchdown. Jeanette, after finishing runner-up last year, win the state double-A title 49-21 over the Dunmore Bucks. He's a great player. You can't take that away from him. And you only see that player once in a lifetime in high school. And um, he made the plays when he had to. And they were going to give him the ball. We knew that. And uh, we didn't really do a good job of containing him as a team. He's a great athlete. I'm just so proud of our kids. They play so hard. We had a great season. I just think that the uh, overall basis, they're, they're a better football team than we are. And uh, we're looking forward to next year. It's just all about 
It's about your mind. If you're ready to play and you just have confidence. And we, just, we had confidence the whole year that we was going to come back here and win this. They put a good fight on in the first drive. They, they ran the ball down our throat, basically. And then we just had to step it up because we didn't want that feeling from last year. We all have the experience, and uh, we know we could uh, come back here again if we work hard in the offseason and do what we did this year. Dunmore ends their dream season at 14-2, and two, but the Bucks have a lot of players back. They'll like to make another run at a state title next year. That's the story from Hershey wrapping up the high school football season for another year. Phil Shaner, WBRE Sports. Colin, back to you. Regardless of the opponent this season, Dunmore football wouldn't back down. Bucks quarterback Miller Holmes doesn't want this rushing touchdown to be his final visit to the end zone in Chocolate Town. I mean, now we all, we all have the experience and uh, we know we could uh, come back here again if we work hard in the offseason and do what we did this year. There was no escaping talk of one Terrell Pryor. The Jeanette QB is one of the nation's top college prospects. Dunmore coach Jack Henses now understands why. They put him as a wide out. He's just jumped our kids. He's six foot six. Our boys are five eight, five nine. So he's a great athlete. And as Pat Hart leaves his Dunmore career behind, it's with pride carrying the Double A runner up trophy. We had a great time doing it. We uh, we proved a lot of people wrong along the way, and we just couldn't do it one more time. We we tried, but the, tip of the ball didn't bounce our way. That's a wrap for the 2007 season of Monday Memories. We'll see you again next year.
At this time, representing Dunmore, we ask Matt Jones, Pat Hart, Mark Cortez, and Mike Miguel to please step forward as you are presented the 2007 <laughs> PIAA Class Great Double A Runner Up Trophy. The trophy being presented by the United States Marine Corps. Good job, guys. Congratulations to the Dunmore. And now we'd ask Don't drop it. Don't let go. That Michael Mack. Gary Harris. Terrell Pryor. Adam Locke. And Jason Marcus.
second down and two. Ball resting at the...